Dr. Kadan, what can we do when we have those boils, those like, uh, you know, uh, yellowish, uh, reddish passes somewhere on our, wherever? Um, how dangerous are they? How can we get rid of them? Well, um, we are seeing more and more of these things, and uh, uh, we are seeing this because there is resistance to, to some of the antibacterial uh, uh, products that we have available. Uh, it's called MRSA. MRSA is uh, medicine resistant uh, uh, um, infection. Um, and we are seeing a lot of that nowadays. And uh, it's basically a collection of pus under the skin. You see redness, you see sometimes yellowish pus, you see you, you may have some pain. Um, fever may come at a much later time. But uh, sometimes multiple of these on different parts of the body. It may have to do with uh, some body hygiene, people who don't take care of their hygiene properly, or people who tend to sweat a lot, they wear pretty um, tight clothing, they tend to sweat underneath, uh, or people whose immunity is a little bit on the low side, and they, they're much more prone to get this infection. Um, the, obviously, antibiotics are important in treating these things, but more than that, it's important to open these boils, or what we call abscesses, and get the pus out. Once you do that, then antibiotics are going to work much better. I tell the patient, look, as long as you have this boil, this abscess, it's like you're having a wall, and an, the antibiotics cannot penetrate the wall. To, to take care of the infection, you're going to have to break that wall, get the pus out, let the antibiotics take take um, take over after that. And that's that's the main thing that uh, needs to be done. Um, I tell them, if you cannot reach a doctor, um, try to put some warm compressor on. Not too hot, not to burn yourself, but if you put warm compressor on and off, it sometimes helps to open the boil, open the abscess, and they get the pus out until to the time that it comes you can go to the doctor. We do see people who have cysts. Cyst is a growth uh, uh, that people get. It's it's usually benign. It's not dangerous, not cancerous, but it can get infected. Usually, it it, it looks like a growth that has a little central pore in it, and. Uh, it can be in some parts of the body where it's more prone to get infected. If you all have bacteria on the surface of the skin and from time to time, the bacteria can overgrow and get inside the cyst and then the, the cyst gets inflamed and, and infected and, and, and forms into a big abscess or big boil. And um, that, that also needs to be addressed. So you, you know, then you numb it, you, you open it up, lance it, and uh, get the pus out. And that, that takes care of that. There is a, a, a different situation, um, similar, um, which is quite painful and quite uncomfortable, where the patient gets uh, basically a boil in the rectal area, in the, in the, in the, in the back. Uh, it's called pilonidal cyst. And that is that would be very painful. The patient can sit, can stand. Um, um, it's very uncomfortable. Um, a lot of times that happens because, especially people who have a lot of hair growing in that area, the hair tends to grow inside, and there is a reaction to that hair by, by, the, by the body, and then they, and there's some bacteria on the surface that gets in somehow, and then there's infection that sets in. Again, that has to be numb, opened up, get the pus out, and give the patient antibiotics. And they bless you because the pain is gone. Or when you take the, that pus out, and they can right. see it and all other business. So basically, we're talking about small uh, operational procedures to take care of it. It's just kind of like what needs to be done. Right. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you very much.